Taylor Swift is the big uh, music news story of the day today. Leadership, by the way. Leadership and good quality people. That's exactly what Taylor Swift is. Taylor Swift just renegotiated her. I shouldn't say renegotiated. She negotiated her new record deal. She moved uh, record companies. She was with Big Machine for a really long time. And she announced that she's going to be uh, inking a deal with Republic Records, who's part of Universal Music Group. What's significant about this for every single music fan, you might be thinking, I don't care, Ant. Why do I care about Taylor Swift? She did a couple of interesting things in her record deal. Uh, one is she's going to own the masters in her deal. Now, if you saw the movie Ray, uh, Ray Charles was one of the first artists that was famous for this. He wanted to own the master recordings to his music. He would be the one in charge. He would be the one that would benefit financially from his music for years to come. Owning the masters, they call it. Um, she put this into her deal, which I think is a pretty big deal. Kind of gives hope to other artists like, hey, if you're at the top of your game, again, you look at LeBron James, right? You look at, um, you know, I don't know who's the, the guy in baseball right now. Probably what's his name for the Nationals, even though he can't get a deal done. Um, but yeah, you know, we've seen some of these deals, the Alex Rodriguez deal, right? Like some of these big, like if you're, if you're the guy, if you're the gal, if you're the one at the top of your game, what you do has impact on everybody else. So Taylor owning the masters is kind of an important deal because who knows, maybe, you know, Mumford and Sons doesn't sell as much as Taylor. Maybe when they come up though, they can own their masters, you know, and perhaps that'll be, you know, shine a little light and trickle down towards other artists. You know, if Taylor can do it and your sales are just a little shy of Taylor, then maybe you can get it, you know, and maybe that puts you in a better position moving forward. So that is the one significant thing. But the real big significant thing is, and this is where, like, I'm just in awe and blown away by this young lady. Again, this is what real leadership is. It's doing the right thing just because. It's doing something good that's not necessarily for your benefit. That's real hardcore leadership. She put a stipulation in her deal and made the Universal Music Group uh, agree to this. And by the way, there's really like three labels. I mean, you know, Universal's one of them, Sony's another one. There's really like three massive entities that own all these other labels. So she got one of the larger ones out of the three to agree to this extraordinary deal, uh, this deal point, which was that when Universal Music Group goes to cash in on Spotify, so right now uh, Universal Music Group, UMG, owns I think 3.5% of Spotify. Come the day that they sell this, th their shares in Spotify, According to Taylor Swift's contract, that money is going to go to the artists under the UMG label. Now, that's a pretty big deal. Imagine, imagine that. If you work for a company. They own another thing. They sell it. You don't get bupkis. You don't see anything of that. You worked hard. You made all those widgets. You helped fund the money to get to buy the other company. They sell the other company. What do you get? Bupkis. The guy who runs the National Turkey Federation has got more than you. Uh, in this deal for Taylor, what she's arranged is for all the other artists besides herself, they will get a piece uh, of that money moving forward. That's a pretty big deal. That's a pretty damn big deal. She wrote a big uh, blog about it and a big statement, and she says, and I quote here, there was one condition that meant more to me than any other deal point. As a part of my new contract with Universal Music Group, I asked that any sale of their Spotify shares result in a distribution of money to their artists, non-recoupable, meaning that, you know, uh, a lot of the times, like if you get an advance, it's, you know, th that's recoupable by the, the, uh, the label. Here's $10,000 to, you know, to live on while you make an album for two months. Or whatever the case is. And then when you sell the record, they go, oh, thanks. We got to get our $10,000 back. That's part of the shadiness that is the music business. Well, this money would be, this money would go straight to them. Label would have nothing to recoup from it. Uh, back to Taylor. They have generously agreed to this and what they believe will be in much better terms and paid out uh, previously by other labels. I see this as a sign that we are headed toward a positive change for creators. 
a goal I'm never going to stop trying to help achieve in whatever ways I can. I'm so happy that Sir Lucian Grange as a partner in to have Sir Lucian as a partner in these efforts. So that's a pretty big deal. I mean, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, I want to say it was three and a half percent. Now I don't have that number in front of me. I apologize. I was just looking at it too. Oh, is this it over here? Uh, by the way, Sony did something similar, but their payout to their artists wasn't as big. So that's what Taylor was referencing in that piece. Sony announced in June that it would be uh, dismissing any individual unrecouped artist balances when it came to paying out proceeds from its 5.7% Spotify stake. See, so Sony's deal was slightly different than what she's proposing with UMG. UMG has 3.5% stake in the streaming company. I mean, I guess if they never sell that, you know, but I, but I guess, like, if you're under contract and they sell it at some point, you get a piece. And why not? You contributed to it. I mean, we're talking about the assets here of the streaming service, which was created by the artists. So it's only rightfully so. But that's not the way it was, it was going to go. UMG was going to liquidate that. They were going to keep it all for themselves. Now that's got to go to the artists. That's a big deal. That is a really big deal. That just goes to show you how valuable Taylor Swift is, by the way. That she can own the Masters, so the label doesn't get that money. They're not getting the 3.5% in Spotify. And she's still worth doing business with. You are pulling in a lot of cash if you're Taylor Swift. If you can pull those deals deal points off and the label still feels like they're going to make out on this pretty interesting stuff on the business nerdy side of things so i hope you enjoyed that